you can squeeze two on there. Ah, perfect. So after a bit of a rough night last night, which is kind of uh, putting it lightly, if you saw the previous video. Who the f was that? We're off to Bala Lake. I've never been to Bala before. Might do a bit of exploration around the lake. I've got a beautiful meal to cook down by the lakeside, so hopefully uh, that'll be quite nice. We're about 40 minutes from Bala Lake now. We're just leaving Lake Vernwy. Didn't think it was quite that long, but uh, yeah, 16 miles, 40 minutes. So I think it's gonna be a lot of country roads. I'll update you guys once we get a little bit closer to Bala Lake. pilot's hotspot. I had to just stop on this road and just show you around me. Look at the way the road bends in and out of the valleys. Come all the way down there and normally while I'm driving I'll just get a couple of bits of footage of the roadway from the dash cam but I had to stop and show you this incredible landscape. Or should I say lambscape. <laughs> Morning! This has got to be one of the best drives I've done yet on the channel. Absolutely beautiful. This is what I brought from Argos, 10 quid. 10 litre water container. It's only got about maybe eight litres in there at the moment. It's got a tap on one side and obviously a filling spout on the other. And it's just a brilliant piece of kit. And I'll show you where it fits. It fits perfectly in the recess of the seat there. Absolute perfect fit. That's a pretty good test of this table, isn't it? <laughs> An eight litre water container, which is relatively heavy holding that just nicely now the moment of truth we're going to boil some water up and have the meal of champions a pop noodle to get us set up for our walk but is that little seal that i've put on the kettle going to withstand the hot water we'll soon find out if i haven't mentioned it already this kettle actually started leaking from the bottom of the spout there so this seven pound kettle from millets Probably wasn't as good of a buy as I thought it initially was when I first mentioned it. But I put some of that sealant around it that I use on the top brake light to hopefully solve it. It was only a very small leak, so I can't imagine it's still being a problem, but we'll see. Right, let's get a pop noodle on the go. What's your favourite pot noodle flavour? I'm a classic chicken and mushroom man. What you're looking at now is part of the old Bala Railway. I don't believe that this line is connected to any major rail networks at the moment. I think it was disconnected from the main lines quite a while ago, and I don't think it's actually active today. Hence why I can freely cross it. I think you more or less can at any point, I think, but look at the old uh, signal box there. Is it called a signal box? Someone leave a comment, a train enthusiast. All the old hand pulleys. 
Now, before I actually arrived, I didn't actually quite grasp the enormity of Bala Lake. So I thought, oh, I'll park up somewhere and I'll walk around the lake. Have you seen the flipping lake? It's huge. Take me a good couple of weeks to walk around this. <laughs> But for anyone coming here, just to waste a couple hours, watch the wheel go by, go to that car park. Use the what three words that I put down here and go to that car park. Don't go to the main one. Unless you're looking to launch a boat, then by all means go to the main car park. But this one is absolutely gorgeous. Son, when you grow up, you'll be fine. I know got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen one way or the other Whether you like it or not Stop looking for the answers And you'll find What you've got Well, I'd absolutely love to go for a longer explore, but unfortunately, the paint display machine doesn't seem to be recognizing my card. Anyway, that pot noodle hasn't filled the gap, so let's go and cook this double cheeseburger. I tried my absolute best to clean the blanket last night after those kebabs, but we might have a slightly kebab tasted burger. It's definitely got an aroma of kebab about it. And these are still more or less ice cold from that fridge. Hopefully you can squeeze two on there. Ah, perfect. Let's give that a crack. And this is what's so convenient about using paper plates. Raw meat's just been on there. And instead of me having to spend the next three or four minutes cleaning up a plate, trying to get disinfectant wipes and everything, just throw it away. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is get like a bit of a bed of mozzarella on the bottom. We're gonna try and layer this cheese up. So it'd be mozzarella, burger, mozzarella, burger, sauce, tomatoes, American mustard. Nearly. Mustard. All inside there. Beautiful. Ooh. Could you get your mouth around that? <laughs> ah. hmm. I'm going to have a heart attack and enjoy this. <laughs> Thanks for joining for this video. Leave a comment below, tell me what you think. Have you got any more recipes I can try? And I will see you guys in the next video. Mm.